Hi there, I'm Alexandra Morgan from In-House Pattern Studio. I teach experienced sewers and budding pattern makers how to make and adjust patterns for fit and style. Recently, I got an email from Gigi who wanted to share a comment about an ages old blog post I did on how to make a bicep girth adjustment on a straight sleeve. Here's what she said. I discovered your website when I searched for an easier method to sew a fly front in pants. Let me tell you that your tutorial is the best and clearest I've come across so far. And I've been sewing for a number of years now. Excellent work. Thank you so much, Gigi. When browsing your site further, I saw your bicep alteration method, which is the one most fitting books and class instructors teach. The comment I have is that this method doesn't work for everyone. Reducing the cap height is a no-go for me. Having a relatively small armhole compared to my size complicates getting a beautifully fitting sleeve even further. In wovens, I can usually resolve the issue by using a two-piece sleeve, but in tees and sweater knits, a two-piece sleeve looks really weird. My question is, are you familiar with a method that would work for us ladies with said anatomy that could be applied to a one-piece sleeve for knits? This is an excellent question, Gigi. In this video, I'm going to share my reply to Gigi's email and give you some suggestions on ways that you can manipulate your bodice and sleeve for a better bicep fit. Okay, here is the bicep girth adjustment that Gigi was talking about in her email. And you can see here that what I've done is basically slash along the center line and I've left a pivot point here at the wrist and I've left pivot points here at each of the corners of the cap. And what this does is allow you to pivot your pattern out in a way to increase the bicep, but you automatically end up losing cap height because these sections overlap here. So this overlap amount is how much you're losing in your cap height when you make the adjustment this way. So you can see here that I've actually traced in the original sleeve and you, you can easily see here that I have increased the bicep girth by one inch in this particular example but I definitely have lost cap height and as Gigi mentioned not everyone can afford to do that and the reason for that is because as soon as you lose cap height often you'll end up getting drag lines pointing to the top portion of your sleeve indicating that you actually need more cap height. And this method actually reduces the cap quite a bit. But the beauty of this adjustment is that it doesn't change the seam line length of the sleeve cap, thereby keeping your armhole girth on your bodice exactly the same. So the length of this line, the original line, hasn't changed when you create this new pattern. You can reduce the amount of cap height that you're losing by playing with this concept of ease in your sleeve head. So I'll go to the next example I have here. And in this case, what I've done is I've created exactly the same slash lines, only instead of bringing these points back together at the center line, I've left them open a little bit, meaning I'm actually adding some ease to my sleeve cap. So I can probably still get this sleeve into my existing armhole, but I'm going to have to ease it in. Doing it this way allows you to keep some of your cap height intact. So you can actually see the difference here, how this amount of cap height is much larger than this one. And that's simply because I've left some opening here or some ease in the sleeve head. Now, the third method I have here is a way that you can keep the sleeve head height as it is, but it's going to require a change to your armhole of your bodice. So you can see here, this in this example, what I've done is basically cut off my sleeve cap at the bicep line. And then I've slashed down the center of my pattern and I've just left a little hinge point here at the wrist. I spread open my pattern the amount that I need and this example is using one inch. And then I've just replaced the cap back onto the sleeve at the new bicep line. 
So what I've done here now, if I bring in my sleeve, you'll see that I've increased the bicep girth but I haven't touched the cap height at all. So the cap height is exactly the same as it is on my original sleeve. But what I have done is added a lot of width to my sleeve, but also added length to my sleeve cap seam line length, which means that I'm going to probably have to make an adjustment to my bodice in order to get my sleeve to fit in properly. So this is what I suggest that you do in order to do that. So what you're going to do is add to your bodice width and lower your armhole depth. And the reason you're going to do both is so that each amount is smaller than what you actually did with the sleeve. So let me get, put this in focus here for you. So what I've done is, so I've opened this sleeve by one inch. So I've added a one inch total to the bicep girth of the sleeve, which means this extension is a half inch longer and this one is also a half inch longer. So instead of bringing out my bodice by a half inch and creating a lot of extra ease in my bodice width, what I've done instead is used half the amount. So on this side of the sleeve, on the front side of the sleeve, instead of doing a half inch, I've done a quarter here. And then on the back, instead of doing a half inch as it's showing here, I'm going to do a quarter. And then I'm going to lower my armhole depth by a quarter of an inch. And also on the back, lowering it by a quarter of an inch. This is going to make the total amount a half inch that I am increasing my armhole girth as a whole. So even though I've added one inch to the bicep girth, I've now added one inch to the armhole circumference as well, thereby allowing my sleeve now to fit in properly. So what you're going to find is that there's a real dance between these elements of the pattern. The bicep girth, the cap height, the sleeve head ease, and the armhole girth. All of these things have to sort of come together in order to create a really good fitting sleeve. So sometimes it takes a lot of trial and error to get that sleeve just right, especially to get it comfortable on top of everything. Um, but I hope this helps you a little bit and puts you in the right direction. So I just wanted to jump in and give you one more alternative. So here we have sort of that basic stretch knit bodice that I was working on with you in the last little section of the video. And I wanted to point out something that after you change the bicep girth of your sleeve and you find that it's probably adequate enough, there's another opportunity to increase the width of the sleeve below the bicep line. Now sometimes some of us need a little bit more girth in this lower part of the bicep as well. So I want to just point this out that it definitely is possible for you to add a little bit more width to your sleeve below the bicep line because sometimes we can make the bicep very large here at this bicep line but we actually may need a little bit more room below the bicep line up to the elbow line. So I want to just offer this as another option to help improve that fit in the bicep area of your arm. Often we don't really need more measurement here at the wrist, but adding marginally here will make this difference a little bit softer. So it be, don't be afraid to increase your sleeve hem girth a little bit to try and balance off the effect of how much you're increasing this area of the sleeve. It's always going to look more flattering than going from a very large part and then tapering down to nothing. It's going to emphasize how big this area is in comparison to your wrist. So I always recommend that you do kind of marginally increase the hem of your sleeve as well so that you can sort of balance out that visual effect just so that it doesn't look so drastic um, from the top to the bottom of your sleeve. So I hope that little extra information helps a little bit. Um, 
And I just want to sort of reiterate that don't be afraid to change the lines or the, the seam lines on the sleeve if that's what's required. The pattern that you're starting with is always exactly that, the starting point. And it's up to you to make the changes that you need to make to be able to fit your body even better and for actually to make the pattern be more flattering on you. All right, so I hope that helps a lot and I hope that you can move forward with all of your bicep girth adjustments with some more confidence. We'll chat with you soon. Bye for now.